Hello YouTube and today we're going to be looking at this slow filling concealed toilet system. So first of all what we're going to do is remove this top panel of this unit. If you don't have a panel to remove then you'll have to remove the flush plate and do all this through the flush plate itself. It can be done that's why they're designed like that so you can remove the flush plate and get to everything inside. So with this removed we can then remove the top lid of the splash guard and get inside to see what the problem is with this toilet. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all the water by flushing the toilet. As you can see there's quite a lot of lime scale on this system. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to isolate the system by turning off this isolation switch then we can remove it all and check inside and see what's going on. See so if it needs a new washer or if there's something else causing it. So grab yourself a flat blade screwdriver and turn off the isolation valve. There's also one inside the tank, but luckily for me, there's one on the outside for this job. So then you're gonna pull this tab forward because it locks into the black plastic system. So you wanna pull that outwards and then slide it upwards so it locates in a little channel and also locating pin which is the plastic bit so with that then removed you can then remove the push fit fitting and this is what I found inside the fill valve as you can see there is a load of dirt and debris inside and lots of these blue things which I actually do not know what they are so if you know what these blue things might be once I bang it into this basin please do let me know it's quite brittle and as you can see later in the video they snap quite easily. I don't know if they're shavings off a water main, so maybe they've been doing work on the local water main. Here I'm just giving the whole valve a good clean so we to go. So with that all cleaned up as best as I can and the filter cleaned inside, we can then put that back and locate that back into the system. And the next thing we're going to do is once we've put that on, is we're going to remove the flexi that's in the base that it connects onto. So I've removed that and this also has a filter in it on the inlet. As you can see here, once again, it's covered in the same stuff. As you can see, there's more of this blue stuff and bits of grit that have also been dragged into the system from the water main and then made their way up to this toilet. Because it's a, a well-used toilet, I think it's gonna have all the parts catching here and it's also got a good filter system. So I don't know what it is, but it breaks up really easy. So I'm just gonna pick up the filter, put it all back together and put it back in the system back together and then give it a good test make sure it's filling faster and it definitely is i hope this has helped someone make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment but i hope you everyone has a great day